Good evening, Titans. This is Mr. Sturtz. We're now on lesson 4.6, um, arithmetic sequences. Um, if you'll open your student journal, we have four definitions tonight. So pause the video. Make sure we get these written down. Okay, remember, we can use these definitions on our quizzes. Um, get these four written down. All right, here's our core concept tonight is an arithmetic sequence. Um, and what we have is the difference between each pair of consecutive terms, so in a row, consecutive, the difference is the same. Okay, we can think back to maybe earlier um, when we talked about a linear function, the constant difference, a common difference, constant rate of change. Okay, from one number to the next is constant. This difference is what we call the common difference. Okay, so if we look at a couple of sequences here, this first one goes from negative 12 to 0. So from here to here, we know we added 12. From 0 to 12, we added 12 again. 12 to 24, added 12 again. So let's continue that pattern. 24 plus 12 is 36. 36 plus 12 is 48. And then if we add 12 again, we'll get all the way up to 60. Okay, now we're looking for a common difference in our second sequence here. Um, what we can always do is just subtract the second number from the first number if we're not sure. Um, so we can take 0.6, subtract 0.2 from it, and we get a 0.4. This is our common difference. Okay, so from 0.2 to 0.6, we go up by 0.4. From 0.6 to 1, 0.4. So after 1.4, we get up to 1.8. If we add 0.4 again, we're going to get up to 2.2. If we add 0.4 again, we're going to get up to 2.6. Okay, those are our next three terms of each sequence. We're just increasing by that common difference. Now they want us to graph these sequences. So if we make a quick xy chart, our x, we're just going to say the number of each term. So our first term is 4. Our second term is 8. Our third term is 12. Our fourth term is 16. Okay, and we could keep going. We see the pattern there. But if we go over here, let's label just our x, y, 1, 2, 3, 4. Maybe we could count up by 2's on the y-axis. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, and we go up to 16. Let's go ahead and graph these. So the ordered pair, 1, 4. 1, 4, plot a point. 2, 8, plot a point. 3, 12, plot a point. And 4, 16. Okay, what do you notice? Well, we see that all of these lines, or all these points, excuse me, follow a line. Okay, all these points would fall on this line right here. And that would continue to go on forever and ever if we kept going down the sequence. If we added a 5 and a 20, that would fall on that line. If we added a 6 and a 24, that would also fall on that line. The arithmetic sequences, they always lie on a line. So if we look at this graph, does this graph represent a sequence? Well, we see that the points are in a line. We could continue, we could connect these dots, and they follow a line. So yes, we would say yes, this does represent an arithmetic sequence.